Hi everyone, uh, welcome to Data Embassy. Today we are going to show you how to create a Sankey funnel chart via our template. So what is a funnel chart? This funnel chart has the characteristic of uh, filtering data by steps. So here is a five step funnel chart. We have initially a, a number of leads row and then after the first step in second step we will have a dimension member called a opportunity and this one will have a following valid data but for the other members of the second step those are the rejections so we will not have any data following that so in every step we will have only one member of that dimension will have a valid data in the following steps. Okay. This is the characteristic of a funnel chart. The, from the data side, we can see that it will be something like this. Okay. That's, uh, this is a sorted do it from the beginning and to show you how it looks like. This is a step one. We only have one member of the dimension. Step two, three, four, step five. And with step three, the qualified is the one we want to keep. Step four, sold. And step five, customer return. We want to uh, show the number of uh, records that's been returned. That's 24. And for other rows, uh, for a variety of reasons, they are reject. Next, the first step is to load our data. Here, I will use Superstore as an example. And the Superstore, by definition, is not a typical funnel data. We need to create it or reshape it to be a funnel data. The first step is to union the order table with itself. So we can see the data here is unioned with, with itself. Okay, with a little bit different uh, table name. If your data is not clean, you may need to check this box and uh, it will help uh, clean up uh, your data. Fortunately, we don't need to do that. We need to reshape because this data, we need to define what is the step one, two, three, and the five. If your data is already a funnel data, then you just need to rename those steps as step one, two, three, four, five. But here we need to create our own funnel data. First, step one, all orders. Two equals to regions. Okay. Three, if that two equals west segment uh, category. And so we are we are creating actually a funnel like uh, all records, then West, then technology, then home office, and then uh, ship mode standard class. This is the formula for creating this. Okay, by the way, this is from uh, my blog, and I will give the link in the description below. Four, five. Great, we have already created uh, five five steps and for a uh, funnel chart besides the steps the dimensions and we need to also have a measure that is called a size we need to define size and here we just need to well we will use quantity as size we just rename it okay this is the second step and the third step it's very simple. Okay, so let's go to here. Well, just to have a chart, and we replace the template data source by our data source. Here, our data source is the superstore, and we have a lot of uh, table calculations uh, in the chart. It may take a while for it to replace the data source. Okay, so it is uh, done. We got our funnel chart uh, for the data using uh, Superstore. And sometimes when you replace data, the data can be a little mismatched. 
for example, if, if we change the sort, so it could be something like this, and uh, it's mismatched. We need to go in and fix that by manually sorting. Manually sorting, drag the technology, which is part of the valid uh, the branches with uh, data. So we need to drag it uh, to the bottom. Put the now on top. Basically, yeah, something like this. And uh, let's see whether it matches. That's good. So we can see the size of uh, the following steps uh, will match the size of the technology. That's it. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, see you next time.